welcome back to Camping with Emmy, Home and Camper Renovations on a Budget. Welcome to part two of our Extreme Craft Room Makeover. In today's episode, I'm going to be painting the walls and I'm also going to be painting an old bookcase that I have had for uh, probably 25 years or 30 years. And I'm going to transform that. I'm going to paint it a beautiful white. It's currently brown and it will serve as some really nice shelving in my craft room. And I'll show you how to paint those old bookcases and make them look stunning. So one thing you need to know about me is I love color and I am not afraid to use it. So my craft room is going to be full of lots of color because that is what um, sings to me. I just like to be surrounded by beautiful color. So I'd also like to add that in this video, as well as my previous videos, all of the flowers that you see come from our gardens. Most of them come from our front yard because it gets a lot of sun, but a few of them also come from the backyard that is quite shaded with a lot of beautiful trees. So anyway, without further ado, let's get started. Um, today I am going to be painting a bookcase white. Now, these are the two bookcases that I have. I will tell you that these bookcases are at least 25 years old. I've had them for a very long time. Um, I bought them, um, I don't remember, it's been so long ago. It was at Kmart, Walmart, one of those places. It came in a box, you put it together. And you know, they are a faux wood finish, but hey, you know what? They're, they're good bookcases and they've served their purpose well over all of these years. One day I just decided I'm gonna paint this bookcase white. And I, I really didn't prep it or anything. I, I literally took some stain kill, I rolled it on, I took my paint, I did several coats of, coats of paint, I painted the whole thing. And considering the fact that I really didn't prep it the way I should, it has held up remarkably well. But one of the, prob one of the problems I had was um, the primer and the paint were bubbling when I was trying to put it on. And that's because um, there was either grease or grime on the finish and it didn't take well. Um, now that I'm in the house I'm in now and I'm in the process of setting up my craft room, I want to use both bookcases. So I want this one to be painted white to match this one. Only this time I am going to do this the correct way, the right way, so that the paint will adhere a little bit better. Although, in all honesty, by the time I get all of my craft supplies on these shelves, you probably won't see much of them anyway. But the right way to do this is, you wanna take your crud cutter or something similar to this, spray it on. This takes any um, grease, grime, dirt, you know, that's been on uh, your piece and it gets it all off. And this works great. Then I will take my palm sander and use probably about a 300 uh, grit sandpaper and sand all this down. So once it's cleaned and sanded, I take a little bit of tack cloth and I wipe the whole thing down and then we'll be ready to prime it and then paint it. Here's Amalu, and he came to visit me working on the project. Now normally she doesn't come until the project is over with, yeah. I know. Did you come to visit your mama? Yes, you did, sweet Emmy Lou. I love you, Emma Lou. I know. Good girl.
of the stain kill that I did yesterday. Because I'm working on my craft room and I had some dark brown walls, I stain killed all the walls as well. So I used a big roller when I rolled the stain kill on because I was using that same roller to do all the walls in the craft room. But um, now that that's done, um, I'm going to use a small roller to put the white paint on the bookcase. It, it just handles better. It's easier to do. So um, here we go. I'm going to use my little roller. And we have a little more control with this. So it seems to work out pretty good. Always hope 
that the color that you have picked out is going to be one that you like once you get it on the walls. I would say nine times out of ten, I get it right on the first try. Occasionally, there have been times when I've picked out a color, I put it on the wall, and I'm like, yeah, this is not what I wanted. This didn't turn out right. But you know what? For the price of a can of paint or a couple of cans of paint, you can just easily, uh, you know, run and get out some, pick out some more paint and, and redo it and make it the color that you want it. And now for the final step of this, this bookcase makeover. So um, what you need to do is you need to apply a coat of wax to this paint finish. Um, as you know, I did not use chalk paint on this, although I love chalk paint and it's really easy to use and very forgiving. I just used a white latex paint because honestly, I just had a bunch left over from previous projects. So I rolled it on and now I let it dry for a few days, you know, the paint, you know, make sure it kind of dries pretty good. And then your last step is going to be to put some wax on it. This wax is Howard Chalk Teak Light Paste Wax. So basically what I do is I just take my old sock. This is what the wax looks like. I just rub a little bit of wax onto my sock. And then you're just going to go in a circular motion across your shelves. And I put it on quite generously. And I just go around in a circle like this and I do the whole shelf like this. And I do the outer edge as well. And you wanna, you know, I put it on, you know, like I said, quite generously. And then typically you would wait maybe three to five minutes. Um, in this case, I'm not going to just for time factor. And then I take the other end of my sock that's still clean. And then you just buff it. You just go over it again and you just kind of buff it out. You know, it, it picks up all of the um, excess wax that's still on there, but it still leaves a nice finish. So we're just going to go through, give this a nice buff, buff our outer edges here. And then we're ready to go. This will keep things not only from sticking in your paint if you didn't use chalk paint, latex paint, can, if you put it on a surface and you don't put a wax on it or some kind of a steel sealer, if you have items sitting on it for long periods of time and you go to pick it up, you'll notice that it kind of sticks a little bit. So, And it also makes it a lot easier to dust and clean. So that's our final step in the bookcase makeover. The walls are all painted in our craft room and I couldn't be more pleased. I think that they're absolutely beautiful. I just love the lovely blush color 
And I also think that the bookcase turned out really nice and it, and it matches my old original one that I painted, oh gosh, seven, eight years ago. <laughs> and they look really well together, so that's good. So at any rate, um, stay tuned for our upcoming video, which is going to be the reveal, the final reveal of our craft room makeover. And I'm telling you what, this room is going to be stunning. I have a lot of really nice pieces that I'm going to be putting in the room. I have a few antiques that are family heirlooms that are going to go in there. And so I cannot wait to share this video with you all. So in the meantime, I would like to say on behalf of Rick and Emmy and myself, Thank you so much for watching today's video. We greatly, greatly appreciate it. We hope that you have a wonderful week and we'll see you all soon. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.